This being the day designated in the Constitution and the laws of the state of Minnesota for assembling of the legislature, I hereby call the Senate into order. Prayer will be offered by the chaplain, Pastor Mike Smith, from Redeeming Love Church in Maplewood, Minnesota. After the prayer, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. And may I ask that you all please also silence your phones so that we're not disturbed today. Welcome. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith. I just want to say at the very beginning, as we begin this prayer, as you already know and have heard so many times that the preamble of this constitution of this great state says, we the people of the state of Minnesota, grateful to God for our civil and religious liberty and desiring to perpetuate its blessings and secure its name to ourselves and our prosperity, do ordain and establish this con constitution. And in light of that, we pray. Father, I just thank you so much that as we gather here today, as we enter into this new session, we're coming into a change of time, but we're also coming into a time of change. And in this, Lord, I ask that you would fill this place with an awareness of your wonderful and grace-filled presence. We pray for guidance as we face the issues that will come before us in this room, in this session. We know that the solutions for the problems that we face in our day will be difficult to discover, so we endeavor to seek you for wisdom. Lord, I pray for your tangible blessings on our state of Minnesota, from International Falls to Albert Lee, from Moorhead to Stillwater, Duluth to Rochester, Halak to Harmony. May this state resound with your peace. I pray that peace would fill the streets of our city, the peace of God would reign. Lord, I pray for our Governor Mark Dayton, Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith, Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka. I pray for these senators that are in this room. I pray, Father God, that you would just hold them in your, in your hands. I pray that, Lord, as everyone in this room holds on to their principles, that, Lord, that in this moment, that they would also hold on to that, that, that desire within them for peace. We commit ourselves today in this place to compassion, to honor, and humility. Lord, I pray that every woman and every man in this place that's called to this place of service would experience your strength in their lives. Bless their homes, bless their families, bless their relationships, businesses, their districts. I pray that your hand would be upon everything that concerns them. And Lord, I pray this, the beginning of this session, that you would bless Minnesota. I pray this in your wonderful name. Amen. Amen. The Pledge of Allegiance will be led today by World War II veteran Master Sergeant Herbert Hansen of Minneapolis. Mr. Hansen entered the Army in 1943 and was honorably discharged in 1946. After his discharge, he served in the Army Reserve until 1970. Thank you for your service. And we will now please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. I'd like to take this opportunity to offer my heartfelt congratulations to all of you, both newly elected and returning um, senators, to this beautiful restored state capitol, and also to welcome all of the family members that are here in, uh, in this esteemed room today. Collectively, you have many decades of experience deep understanding of your districts, what makes them strong, what makes them unique, 
and what lives within each of your districts that we all can learn from. The Minnesota State Senate has many strong traditions. You bring both urgency to solve our state's most pressing problems and also a sense of the long-term impacts of our action or inaction. And we need both of these perspectives. We are all here because we have won elections. And we know now also that we represent all of Minnesota, not just those that voted for us. So congratulations on your electoral success. Governor Dayton and I and our entire administration look forward to working with you on governing and expanding opportunity for everyone in this blessed state. I now hereby appoint Warren Limmer as clerk pro tem, who will call the roll by legislative district in numerical order. When your district is called, please come forward and present your election certificate to Justice Anderson at the front desk. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. As a reminder, remember to bring your certificate up and hand it to the justice when your name is called. First District, Mark Johnson. Second District, Paul J. Utke. Third District, Thomas M. Buck. Fourth District, Kent Eakin. Fifth District, Justin D. Eichhorn. Sixth District, David J. Tomasoni. Seventh District, Eric Simonson. Eighth District, Bill Ingerbitson. Ninth District, Paul E. Gazelka. Tenth District, Carrie Root. Eleventh District, Tony Lorry. Twelfth District, Tory N. Westrom. Thirteenth District, Michelle L. Fishbach. Fourteenth District, Jerry Ralph. Fifteenth District, Andrew Matthews. 16th District, 
Gary H. Dames. Seventeenth District, Andrew R. Lang. Eighteenth District, Scott J. Newman. Nineteenth District, Nick A. Fritz. Twentieth District, Rich Drehan. Twenty first District, Michael P. Goggin, Twenty Second District, Bill Weber, Twenty Third District. Julie A. Rosen. 24th District, John R. Jasinski. 25th District, David H. Senjem. 26th District, Carla J. Nelson. 27th District, Dan Sparks. 28th District, Jeremy R. Miller. 29th District, Bruce D. Anderson. 30th District, Mary Kiffmeyer. 31st District, Michelle R. Benson. 32nd District, Mark W. Coran. 33rd District, David J. Osmek. 34th District, Warren Lemmer. <laughs> 35th District, Jim Abler. 36th District, John A. Hoffman. 37th District, Jerry Newton. 38th District, Roger C. Chamberlain. 39th District, Karen Housley. 40th District, Chris A. Eaton. 
41st District, Carolyn Lane. Forty second district, Jason Isaacson, forty third district, Charles W. Weger, forty fourth district, Paul T. Anderson. 45th District, Ann H. Rest. 46th District, Ron Latz, who is excused. 47th District, Scott M. Jensen. 48th District, Steve A. Swadzinski. 49th District, Melissa Franzen. Only one election certificate, Senator. <laughs> 50th District, Melissa H. Wicklin. 51st District, Jim Carlson. 52nd District, Matt Klein. 53rd District, Susan Kent. 54th District, Dan Schoen. 55th District, Eric R. Pratt. 56th District, Dan D. Hall. 57th District, Greg D. Clausen. 58th Clausen is excused. 58th District, Matt Little. 59th District, Bobby Joe Champion. 60th District, Kerry Dietzig. 61st District, D. Scott Dibble. 62nd District, Jeff Hayden. 63rd District, Patricia Torres Ray. 64th District, Richard J. Cohen. 65th District, Sandra L. Pappas. 66th District, John Marty. 67th District, Fong Her. 67th District, Fong Her. A quorum is present. Without objection, Senators-elect 
Ron Latz from the 46th District, and Senator Greg D. Clausen from the 57th District will be excused from today's session. You will now subscribe to the oath of office as administered by the Honorable G. Barry Anderson, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. Please rise. <clears throat> On behalf of the Chief Justice of the Minnesota Supreme Court, the members of the Minnesota Supreme Court and the judicial branch of the state of Minnesota, I want to first express my appreciation and thanks to the members of this body, to preceding members of preceding bodies of the, of the Senate and House, and to the governor uh, for their leadership in the remodeling and work that has resulted in this renewed and restored People's House. As some of you may know, the Minnesota Supreme Court held its first session of 2017 this morning. We heard our first two oral arguments. Um, it was difficult to concentrate on the important work because of the gorgeous surroundings, and you all, along with the workers who did all this hard work, are entitled to our eternal thanks. With that thought in mind, we will move on to the administration of the oath. We will be administering several oaths today. At the conclusion of the oath, if you are prepared to accept the responsibilities and the duties of office, please answer I do at the conclusion of the oath. Please raise your right hand. Do each of you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Minnesota and to discharge faithfully your duties as a senator to the best of your judgment and ability, so help you God. Thank you, congratulations. The next order of business is the election of the President of the Senate. Are there any nominations? Senator Senjum. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Lieutenant Governor. I do have a nomination. It is an honor and a very special privilege to nominate for President of the Minnesota Senate, Senator Michelle L. Fishbach. And at the proper time, I would offer some additional words. Are there any other nominations? Senator Rest. Uh, Madam Lieutenant Governor, it is my privilege and honor to nominate um, uh, Senator Sandra L. Pappas. Are there any additional nominations? Seeing none, nominations are closed, and I will be happy to recognize Senator Senjum. Thank you again, Madam Lieutenant Governor. Uh, again, it's an honor and privilege for me to uh, nominate uh, and speak to Michelle L. Fishbach as our president uh, of the Minnesota Senate. Senator Fishbach entered this body in February of 1996. She's from District 13, which represents uh, Benton and Stearns County from the great city of Painesville, Minnesota. She's a graduate of St. Cout State University and uh, has a, J a JD degree from William Mitchell College of Law. Uh, beyond that, uh, Senator Fishbach has served as our president in 2011 and 12, and I would remind uh, this body and, in fact, all of Minnesota that she was the first woman ever elected president of the Minnesota Senate. She's a master, if you will, at parliamentary procedure. She knows Masons well. She knows our rules extremely well. She's fair. She's firm. She's knowledgeable, and I would say she's compassionate. And Madam President, uh, Madam Lieutenant Governor, it's uh, again with a great uh, deal of pleasure and a special honor for me, for me to nominate Michelle Fishbach as president of our Minnesota Senate. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Senjum. Recognize Senator Rest. Um, thank you, Madam Lieutenant Governor. It is my um, distinct honor to nominate and to speak in favor of Senator uh, Pappas. Uh, she and I, entered the House in the same year, in 1984. She served with distinction until she came to the Senate in 19... 1991, and um, has served with uh, distinction uh, since then. In 2013, she assumed the role of uh, President of the Minnesota Senate and served um, uh, ruling, I think, with um, the utmost of uh, fairness, 
um, understanding and with a firm knowledge of the rules of the Senate, maintaining the traditions that we hold so dear. And um, on behalf of our caucus, it is, again, my pleasure uh, to nominate her. Thank you, Senator Rest. <clears throat> the clerk pro tem will call the roll in alphabetical order. Members, please vote by saying the last name of your candidate. Abler. Fishbach. Abler votes Fishbach. Anderson B. Fishbach. Anderson B votes Fishbach. Anderson P. Fishbach. Anderson P votes Fishbach. Bach. Bach votes Pappas. Benson. Fishbach. Benson votes Fishbach. Carlson. Pappas. Carlson votes Pappas. Chamberlain. Fishbach. Chamberlain votes Fishbach. Champion. Pappas. Champion votes Pappas. Clausen. Clausen absent. Cohen. Cohen votes Pappas. Swadzinski. Swadzinski votes Pappas. Dames. Dames votes Fishbach. Dibble. Dibble votes Pappas. Dreheim. Dreheim votes Fishbach. Dietzik. Dietzik votes Pappas. Eaton. Eaton votes Pappas. Eichhorn. Eichhorn votes Fishbach. Eakin. Eakin votes Pappas. Fishbach. Fishbach votes Fishbach. Frenzen. Frenzen, I'm sorry. Frenzen votes Pappas. Frentz. Frentz votes Pappas. Gazelka. Gazelka votes Fishbach. Goggin. Goggin votes Fishbach. Hall. Hall votes Fishbach. Her. Her votes Pappas. Hayden. Hayden votes Pappas. Hoffman. Pappas. Hoffman votes Pappas. Housley. Fishbach. Housley votes Fishbach. Ingerbritsen. Fishbach. Ingerbritsen votes Fishbach. Isaacson. Pappas. Isaacson votes Pappas. Chasinski. Fishbach. Chasinski votes Fishbach. Jensen. <coughs> Pardon me? Fishbach. Jensen votes Fishbach. Johnson. Johnson votes Fishbach. Kent. Pappas. Kent votes, votes Pappas. Kiffmeyer. Kiffmeyer votes Fishbach. <coughs> Klein. Pappas. Klein votes Pappas. Coran. Coran votes Fishbach. Lane. Lane votes Pappas. Lang. Lang votes Fishbach. Latz, absent. Limmer, Limmer votes Fishbach. Little, Little votes Pappas. Lori, Lori votes Pappas. Marty, Marty votes Pappas. Matthews, Matthews votes Fishbach. Miller, Miller votes Fishbach. Nelson. Fishbach. Nelson votes Fishbach. Newman. Fishbach. Newman votes Fishbach. Newton. Pappas. Newton votes Pappas. Osmic. Osmic votes Fishbach. Pappas. Pappas. Pappas votes Pappas. Pratt. Pratt votes Fishbach. Ralph. Fishbach. Ralph votes Fishbach. Rest. Rest. Oh, Pappas. Rest votes Pappas. Rosen. Rosen votes 
Fishbach. Rude. Rude votes Fishbach. Schoen. Schoen votes Pappas. Senjem. Senjem votes Fishbach. Simonson. Simonson votes Pappas. Sparks. Sparks votes Pappas. Thomasoni. Thomasoni votes Pappas. Torres Ray. Torres Ray votes Pappas. Utke. Utke votes Fishbach. Weber. Weber votes Fishbach. Westrum. Westrum votes, votes Fishbach. Wigger. Wigger votes Pappas. And Wickland. Wickland votes Pappas. Madam Secretary, do you have the By a vote of 34 to 32, Senator Fishbach has been elected president. Senator Fishbach, please come forward and subscribe to the oath as administered by the Honorable G. Barry Anderson. We have a discrepancy in the count, if you'll just bear with us for one moment. Members, the revised vote is 34 to 31. Senator Fishbach has been elected president. Senator Fishbach, please come forward. Please raise your right hand. 
you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Minnesota and to discharge faithfully your duties as President of the Minnesota Senate to the best of your judgment and ability, so help you God. I do. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I would just like to say just a couple of things. Just thank you so much. I do appreciate the, the honor that this is to preside in this great body. And welcome to all of the new senators and welcome back to all of the returning senators. It, is, it really is an honor to be here. And I will, rule, I will preside the best I can. I hope I did a good job last time. I think I did, or you wouldn't have brought me back for a second time. But thank you again. And we will continue with the proceedings today, as soon as I find my spot. Senator Gazelka. Our, Madam President, are we doing the election of officers now? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, I nominate Cal R. Ludeman for Secretary of the Senate. Cal Ludeman has been nominated. Are there any other nominations? Madam President. Senator I nominate Hogan. former Senator Don Betzold to be Secretary of the Senate. Senator Betzold has been nominated. <laughs> Cal Ludeman and, Senator, or, and former Senator the Honorable Don Betzold have been nominated. The secretary will take the role in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. You may just say the last name of who you wish to vote for. Abler. Abler votes Ludeman. Anderson B. Ludeman. Anderson B votes Ludeman. Anderson P. Ludeman. Anderson P votes Ludeman. Bach. Bach votes Betzold. Benson. Benson votes Ludeman. Carlson. Carlson votes Betzold. Chamberlain. Ch Chamberlain votes Ludeman. Champion. Champion votes Betzold. Clausen. Clausen absent. Cohen. Cohen votes Betzold. Swadzinski. Swadzinski votes Betzold. Dames. Dames votes Ludeman. Dibble. Dibble votes Betzold. Dreheim. Dreheim votes Ludeman. Dietzik. Dietzik votes Betzold. Eaton. Eaton votes Betzold. Eichhorn. Eichhorn votes Ludeman. Eakin. Eakin votes Betzold. Uh, Betzold. Fishbach. Ludeman. Fishbach votes Ludeman. Franzen. Franzen votes Betzold. France. France votes Betzold. Gazelka. Gazelka votes Ludeman. Goggin. Goggin votes Ludeman. Hall. Hall votes Ludeman. Her. Her votes Betzold. Hayden. Betzold. Hayden votes Betzold. Hoffman. Betzold. Hoffman votes Betzold. Housley. Ludeman. Housley votes Ludeman. Ingebrigtsen. Ludeman. Ingebrigtsen votes Ludeman. <clears throat> Isaacson. Betzold. Isaacson votes Betzold. Jasinski. Jasinski votes Ludeman. Jensen. Jensen votes Ludeman. Johnson. Johnson votes Ludeman. Kent. Kent votes Betzold. Kiffmeyer. Kiffmeyer votes Ludeman. Klein. Klein votes Betzold. Coran. Coran votes Ludeman. Lane. 
Lane votes Betzold. Lang. Lang votes Ludeman. Latz, absent. Limmer. Limmer votes Ludeman. Little. Little votes Betzold. Lori. Lori votes Betzold. Marty. Marty votes Betzold. Matthews. Matthew votes Ludeman. Miller. Miller votes Ludeman. Nelson. Nelson votes Ludeman. Newman. Newman votes Ludeman. Newton. Newton votes Betzold. Osmic. Osmic votes Ludeman. Pappas. Pappas votes Betzold. Pratt. Pratt votes Ludeman. Ralph. Ralph votes Ludeman. Rest. Betzold. Rest votes Betzold. Rosen. Rosen votes Ludeman. Rude. Rude. Uh, sorry. Rude votes Ludeman. Schoen. Schoen votes Betzold. Senjim. Senjim votes Ludeman. Simonson. Simonson votes Betzold. Sparks. Sparks votes Betzold. Thomasoni. Thomasoni votes Betzold. No? I'm sorry. Thomasoni votes Ludeman. Torres Ray. Torres Ray votes Betzold. Utke. Utke votes Ludeman. Weber. Weber votes Ludeman. Westrom. Ludeman. Westrom votes Ludeman. Weger. Weger votes Betzel. Wickland. Wickland votes Betzel. On a vote of 35 to 30, Cal R. Ludeman has been elected Secretary of the Senate. Mr. Ludeman, please come forward and subscribe to the oath as administered by the Honorable G. Barry Anderson. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Minnesota, and to discharge faithfully your duties as Secretary of the Minnesota Senate to the best of your judgment and ability, so help you God. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Moving to the uh, continuing under election of officers, Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move that the election to other elected offices be made on one roll call vote unless there should be more than one nomination for any office. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. The motion does prevail. We will proceed with the election of officers, Senator Limmer. Madam President, I nominate Colleen J. Pacheco for First Assistant Secretary. Thank you, Senator Rosen. Thank you, Madam President. With great honor, I would like to nominate Michael R. Lynn for Second Assistant Secretary. Thank you, Senator Senjum. Madam President, I would like to nominate Melissa G. Mapes as Engrossing Secretary. Thank you. Senator Ingebrigtsen. Thank you, Madam President. I nominate Sven K. Lindquist for Sergeant at Arms. Thank you. Senator Root. Madam President, I nominate Marilyn Loganen for Assistant Sergeant at Arms. Senator Gazelka. Thank you, Madam President. I nominate Pastor Mike Smith for Chaplain of the Senate. Thank you. Are there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Nominations are closed. The secretary will call the roll in alphabetical order. Members may vote for officers, all of the officers, by saying nominees. Secretary. Senator Abler. Nominee. Senator Anderson B. Nominee. Senator Anderson P. Nominee. Senator Buck. Nominee. Senator Benson. Nominee. Senator Carlson. Nominee. Senator Chamberlain. Nominee. Senator Champion. Nominee. Senator Clausen. Absent. Senator Cohen. Nominee. Senator Swadzinski. Nominee. Senator Dames. Nominee. Senator Dibble. Nominee. Senator Draheim. Nominee. Senator Dietzik. Senator Eaton. Nominee. Excuse me, Senator Eaton. Nominees. Senator Eichhorn. Nominee. Senator Ike Eakin. Nominee. Senator Fishbach. Nominee. Senator Franzen. Nominee. Senator Frentz. <laughs> Senator Gazelka. Nominee. Senator Gogan. Goggin. Nominee. Senator Hall. Nominee. Senator Herr. Nominee. Senator Hayden. Nominee. Senator Hoffman. Nominee. Senator Housley. Nominee. Senator Ingerbretson. Senator Isaacson, Nominee. Senator Jasinski, Senator Jensen, Nominee. Senator Johnson, Nominee. Senator Kent, Nominee. Senator Kiffmeyer, Senator Klein, Nominee. Senator Coran, Nominee. Senator Lane, Nominee. Senator Lang, Nominee. Senator Latz, uh, absent, Senator Limmer, Nominee. Senator Little, Nominee. Senator Lorry, Senator Marty, Nominee. Senator Matthews, Nominee. Senator Miller, Nominee. Senator Nelson, Nominee. Senator Newman. Senator Newton, Nominee. Senator Osmick, Nominee. Senator Pappas, Nominee. Senator Pratt, Nominee. Senator Ralph, Nominee. Senator Rest, Nominees. Senator Rosen, Nominee. Senator Rood, Nominee. Senator Schoen, Nominee. Senator Senjum, Nominee. Senator Simonson, Nominee. Senator Sparks, Nominee. Senator Tomasoni, Nominee. Senator Torres Ray, Nominee. Senator Utke, Nominee. Senator Weber, Nominee. Senator Westrom, Nominee. Senator Weger, Nominee. Senator Wickland. Receiving 65 votes of the Senate, the nominees are elected to their respective offices. Please come forward and subscribe to the oath of office as administered by the Honorable G. Barry Anderson. Please raise your right hand. Do each of you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Minnesota and to discharge faithfully your duties as officers of the Minnesota Senate to the best of your judgment and ability, so help you God? Thank you. Congratulations.
Next order of business under motions and resolutions, the Secretary will report Senate Resolution Number 1. Senators, <coughs> Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate Resolution Number 1, a Senate resolution naming a majority leader and a minority leader. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Resolution Number 1. To that resolution, Senator Gazelka. Members, this simply designates the majority and minority leaders. Other discussion? All those in favor of resolution number one say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. The Secretary will report Senate resolution number two. Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate resolution number two, a Senate resolution relating to rules, adopting temporary rules for the 90th, century, 90th session of the legislature. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate resolution number two. To that motion, Senator Gazelka. Madam President, this adopts the temporary Senate rules. The only changes made in this version from the permanent Senate rules for the last session are changes necessary to remove references to budget divisions, update committee names, and provide a list of omnibus bills. And this, this resolution does require a roll call vote. The Secretary will take the roll call. I'm sorry, it'll be just one minute. It's under, it's under call of the Senate, so it helped me reset. Secretary, I'll take the roll. Secretary will close the roll. There being 65 ayes and no nays, the resolution is adopted. The Secretary will report Senate Concurrent Resolution Number 1. Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate Concurrent Resolution Number 1, Senate Concurrent Resolution Relating to the Adoption of Temporary Joint Rules. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Concurrent Resolution Number 1. To that motion, Senator Gazelka. This adopts the temporary joint rules from last session as the temporary joint rules for this biennium. The resolution does not make any changes to the previous temporary joint rules. And this does require a roll call vote. The Secretary will take the roll. Secretary will close the roll. There being 65 ayes and no nays, the resolution is adopted. Secretary will report Senate Resolution Number 3. Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate Resolution Number 3, a Senate resolution relating to standing committees. Senator Gazelka. Uh, Madam President, after a conversation with Senator Bach, uh, I move that uh, state or Senate Resolution Number 3 be laid on the table. On that motion, all in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The motion does prevail. Secretary will report Senate Resolution Number 4. Senators Gazelka and Buck introduce Senate Resolution Number 4, a Senate resolution relating to the schedule of standing committee meetings. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Resolution Number 4.
Senator Gazelka to that resolution or to that motion? Or did you already do that? We're, we're trying to slow down so that we can, the computers can catch up to us. Okay. I'm just that efficient, Senator Gazelka. Are we that, I was going to say, we are that good. Senator Gazelka, could you restate your motion, please? Yes, uh, Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Resolution Number Four. On that motion, Senator Gazelka. Madam President, this provides the scheduling for standing committees. The schedule is provided in the same form as used in previous sessions. All in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, no. The resolution does prevail. Secretary will report Senate Resolution Number Five. Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate Resolution Number Five, a Senate resolution relating to postage. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Resolution Number Five. Senator Gazelka, to that motion. Simply provides postage allowance for members of the Senate in the same amount provided in 2016. And this does require a roll call. Secretary will take the roll. Secretary will close the roll. There being 65 ayes and no nays, the motion does prevail. <coughs> Secretary will report Senate concurrent resolution number two. Senator Gazelka, Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate concurrent resolution number two, a Senate concurrent resolution relating to parking space in the capital area for members of the legislature and staff. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate concurrent resolution number two. To that motion, Senator Gazelka. This is the customary parking resolution with the Aurora Avenue reference removed. I still wish we could park there, just saying. But as it has been in the past, this resolution allows designated personnel to work with the Commissioner of Administration to provide parking spaces for members and staff and the general public having business at the Capitol. This resolution does require a roll call vote. The Secretary will take the roll. Secretary will close the roll. There being 65 ayes and no nays, the resolution is adopted. Secretary will report Senate Resolution Number Five, Six. Excuse me. Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate Resolution Number Six, a Senate resolution relating to the attendance of members of standing committees at meetings and seminars held within this state, providing for the payment of expenses. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Resolution Number 6. To that motion, Senator Gazelka. Madam President, authorizes attendance of Senate members and staff at meetings and seminars and authorizes reimbursements for attendance. This is the same form adopted by the Senate in 2016. This resolution does require a roll call. The Secretary will take the roll. Secretary will close the roll. There being 65 ayes and no nays, the resolution is adopted. Secretary will report Senate Resolution Number 7. 
Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate Resolution Number 7, a Senate resolution naming a president pro tem. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Resolution Number 7. To that motion, Senator Gazelka. Madam President, members, this uh, resolution names the distinguished Senator Warren Limmer as the president pro temp of the Senate. All in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. Secretary will report Senate Resolution Number 8. Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate Resolution Number 8, a Senate resolution relating to appointment of a committee to notify the governor the Senate is organized. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Re Resolution Number 8. To that motion, Senator Gazelka. Which requires the Senate President to appoint a committee of eight members to notify the governor that the Senate is organized. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. And pursuant to the foregoing resolution, I make the following appointments. Senator Housley, Icorn, Jasinski, Ralph, Senators Rest, Frentz, Klein, and Schoen. Remaining under motions and resolution, uh, the Secretary will report Senate Resolution Number 9. Senator Gaze Senators Gazelka and Bach introduce Senate Resolution Number 9, a Senate resolution to notify the House of Representatives that the Senate is organized. Senator Gazelka. Madam President, I move the adoption of Senate Resolution Number 9. To that motion, Senator Gazelka. Madam President, this requires the Secretary of the Senate to notify the House that the Senate is organized. All in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. The resolution is adopted. Moving on to announcements of Senate interest. Senator Bach. Uh, thank you, Madam President. And I have noticed the acoustics seem a little different in here from last time we were here. Uh, better, I would say. Uh, you know, this morning as I was driving up to the Capitol, members, uh, I came from the south side. And oftentimes when I do that, I pinch myself that I get to work here. It's a tremendous privilege that your constituents have given you an opportunity to serve in the State Senate. So enjoy today, 67 names up on the board. I'll tell you how to, what a privileged list it is. There have only been, since statehood, 1,367 Minnesotans. 1,367 people in our state have been given the privilege to sit in this chamber and represent their constituents. And you think about all the things uh, that have happened at these desks. And I was so happy uh, that after the conclusion of the 2015 session, we were able to move them over to the new building for last year's session. Uh, because these desks are original to this capital, 1905. And you think about all the votes that have been taken here by our predecessors as our state went through terrible trials and terrible triumphs and all the members that sat here who have moved on. And just for fun, if you ever want to look at it, and those of you that are new, the Legislative Reference Library did a little report on all the former members of the State Senate. They're all in here. A lot of the pictures are black and white. And you know, prior to uh, 1971, they didn't have a party behind them because we didn't have party designation. And this is the largest Senate in the country at 67 members. And I know uh, some of you worked a lot harder to get here than others. Uh, and just want to congratulate you and your success. Thank your families. Sincerely, thank your families for uh, the help that they provided you on the campaign and the support that they're going to give you in your time in the next four years as you serve, because uh, it can be difficult for families. So I just, I, maybe on behalf of all of us, want to request the patience of our families as, as we try to do uh, the people's work here and thank you for all of the support that you've provided to all of us. 
uh, as we campaigned and those of us that have previously served here. And yesterday I was in the chamber to see kind of what it was going to look like and drop a few things off on my desk. And I could not help take a look at the magnificent murals, how they've been refurbished, and the words of Daniel Webster and, and that ring this chamber. And just want to remind all of you, and especially those of you that are new, 21 of you, from time to time, read those words. Because they really, I think, uh, what we all want is a stronger state with a better quality of life, and hopefully we'll all have the opportunity to do something worth being remembered in our service here. So congratulations, uh, everybody, and thank you, Senator Gazelka, for providing me the opportunity to say something. And Senator Gazelka, congratulations to you. There have only been, since statehood, Senator Gazelka is the 29th member that's had the privilege to serve as the chair of the Senate Rules and Administration Committee. So you're really a member of a very, very small group of Minnesotans that have had the opportunity to uh, run the State Senate. And I want to thank all of you over the last four years that supported me when that was uh, my role to play here on the floor of the Senate. And look forward to working with all of you for a very, very productive uh, session as we determine what the priorities of Minnesotans are uh, in the next two-year budget cycle. Senator Gazalka. Uh, thank you, Madam President and, and members. If, if I can use part of this time to just, uh, I'd say, let my hair down, but there's not much there. But uh, just to talk about a couple of things I just wanted you to know, because I want you to know me personally as well. Uh, my wife, Mary Lee, here of 34 years, thank God this happened right as we came in here, but it's a picture of my mom and dad. You know, my dad's been in heaven for about 11 years, and my mom's at home with Alzheimer's. Uh, beginning to lose memory of, uh, of us. But, uh, and she put that picture that it just, uh, thank you, made me feel proud, you know, that we could be here, that I'm here, but, you know, really that we're all here. We all have that same sense of this is amazing that we have this opportunity. It really is amazing. And uh, the other thing, now that I'm in this position, everything becomes much more visible. Uh, but when we take an oath that says, so help me God, I, I have a, a Bible here and I point to a verse. And I want you to know what that verse is, uh, because I, I mean it. And it's from a, a Jewish prophet, Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. And it simply says to do good, to love mercy, and to walk humbly before your God. And that's what I hope we can do. We say, so help me God. That's what we say. And I, and I mean that. And, and I want you to know that. So that if I'm not doing right by you, you're, you're free to remind me. And knowing that we are in a very uh, interesting place with two parties, sometimes with two different ideas, and how do we make that work. But know that that is my heart for the Senate. You know, that we are, we are an amazing institution. Senator Bach, you yourself continued to make it an amazing institution. And I think about this uh, capital that we have walked into it's amazing. And it could have been shortchanged, and you did not. And we may have done it different, but you did it well. And I want you to know I appreciate that. I think Minnesota appreciates you, and 100 years from now, people are going to look back and say, you know, what a treasure. And so I don't want that to be unsaid. And just the little things that we can do in the midst of this very partisan place, the little things that we can do. Senator Bach put a pin on everybody's desk. That came from Senator Bach, just saying, you get to wear this pin. It says you're a senator. You're one of a few select people that is here that gets to make a difference for the state. Those things mean a lot. And I want to tell you, I the 33 other uh, Republican senators that made me the majority uh, leader of, of the Senate, uh, I'm humbled, really. And I want to do it right and well and not forget that you, uh, you appointed me here. And I don't want to forget some of the relationships I had with people that are not here, that uh, were on the Democratic side, that you need to know that this is important because it helped shape me with how I want to do things for Minnesota. And one of those is Senator Metzen. And last year you saw that Republicans, in a positive way, roasted him up there. Because we said, this is how it should be. 
majority, minority, I saw him both places, same guy. Uh, when, when, you couldn't, when he couldn't work with you on something, he'd just tell you, I can't work with you. And it was okay, because there was that respect, and he'd laugh, and, you know, but it was just, it was, it was uh, I don't have a WWJD, what would Jesus do? But I also asked sometimes, what would Metzen do? And we're trying to figure out how to, how to make it work here. And so that's one I don't want to forget. And the other one is uh, Senator Rod Scoy. Uh, he uh, included me on the tax committee. And if, if my ideas made sense and we could walk together, we would do it. Well, I bring up those two, and I could have said Senator Ress, and I could have said Senator Champion, and a whole bunch of other people. But I'm saying that to say where we don't have to be partisan, we should not be partisan. There are plenty of places we have to be partisan, but when we have an idea that's good for Minnesota, we should figure out how to do it. And so that's, that's my commitment to all of you. Uh, this is uh, an incredible privilege that we all have. And I, it's, the word I've been thinking about today is, is opportunity. This is an opportunity. And the election, you know, yes, it was about somewhat about Republican Democrat, but it was, I think, more about people just want their government to work. They, I think they want us to do our job well and, and honorable and, and, uh, and actually accomplish some of the things. And there's some big issues that we all have been talking about that let's get it done. I, I mean, I really feel like we can do that if, if we, where we're not partisan, we shouldn't be for the good of Minnesota. So thank you for this opportunity. and. Uh, we're going to have a great time. Thank you. Senator Gazelka. Madam, Madam President, we are now adjourned till Thursday, January 5th at 11 a.m. Or going to be? No, no, no. Senator Gazelka, you got to move that. Madam, Madam, well, this is my first time. I know, and I'm just helping Madam, you out. Madam President, I move that we adjourn till Thursday, January 5th at 11 a.m. Senator Gazelka moves that the Senate do now adjourn until 11 a.m. Thursday, January 5th. All in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. We are adjourned. Aye.